got Charlotte Sands with us. Super excited to have you and talk with you about your career. You're doing amazing. I'm so happy to be here. Oh yes, I'm happy that you were willing to do this with us. Anytime. Of course. I know a lot of people know you for the dress song yeah. about Harry Styles. And I was looking at the caption of that video that you posted. Yeah. And you said, I don't know what I'm doing. Am I doing this right, pretty much? It was like my, one of my first TikToks Is ever. It? Uh, were you shocked? I feel like I grew up in a time of like social media where anytime you were getting attention on social media it was really negative. So the second people started reacting to stuff, I was like, this hat either is a joke if it's positive when like people are making, making fun, of me, fun of me or it's just not actually happening. I was like, this is like a bot or something. And I was like, I don't understand how this works. I remember sending it to my team and being like, something's wrong when you guys figure this out. Like my reaction was not excited. I was like, something's wrong, let's just get to the bottom of it. But now at this point, like looking back, it's the most incredible like, experience. I was about to say, I'm sure it, it opens so many doors for me. It did, and it was honestly it's so exciting because it was one of those songs where I felt like, I think it's really rare for you to be able to put out songs that also reflect your personality and like your values and your character, and I think a lot of songs are about like relationships or about these things, which is all great, but at the same time, that was like what the one song I put out that was like really obvious, like what I believed in as a person and my values, yeah. and like individuality and like all these kind of things and expressing yourself, and so for that to be the song that like blew up to represent me was really exciting. Into your lyrics and your recent songs like Six Feet Under and yeah. All Right, and it's just such like, and I'm a songwriter myself, so yeah, and it's like it's hard to be that vulnerable sometimes, yeah, and like say the reality of like what you're really going through. And just tell me a little bit about that. Was that yeah. something that was hard for you to put out or write, or is that something that you know, as like an artist, you always want to put it as the forefront in your songs, and that doesn't yeah. scare you? I think at the beginning of writing those kind of songs, it was really intimidating and I was really nervous that people were going to be like, what is wrong with this girl? Like, okay, yeah. relax. Um, it's not that okay? serious. Yeah. <laughs> and But then I think after doing that like the first time, like early in my career, and being able to sing those songs live, and then you see other people reacting and relating to them, and then messaging you about them and comparing their experiences and being like, I was the only one, I thought I was the only one who felt this way. Yeah, you're not. There's, right, and then it's like, anytime you get those messages back, it starts to, you start to realize that you're like, oh, you connecting to this is so much more important than the judgment that I might receive from other people. Like, yeah. our relationship now and the, the ability to connect the other, to other humans in this way that they feel less alone and they feel supported and, like, all these things because they have a song that they feel represented by is so much more important and holds so much more weight than, more like, the than weird powerful. criticism. Yeah, than you would feel. Right, and so that's kind of always my thing is I'm like, that will never like affect me as much as the positive effect of having those relationships now and that community and that experience of people like telling me about why they relate to my music and like yeah. us realizing we have so much in common even though we've never met before I think that's like it's the power of music I mean it's what everyone wants to accomplish and, and you've done just cool. that with your songs yeah, like thanks. thank you for doing that it's sweet. I mean it's honestly just like a privilege that I get to experience these like friendships and interactions so it's as much the wonderful for me as it is for everyone else so obviously community is important to you yeah. but what was one of those moments like specifically that you would say from a fan or a friend or anything when you wrote those songs and they came back to you and said it helped them was there something like you're like man thank god that I did this um I have this really vivid memory of this show I did I think in Philadelphia and I had a ton of family there and there I have a song called I don't care which is kind of Unlike any of my other songs, it's very acoustic and very like singer-songwriter. I have a friend named Jane Troll who's singing on it with me as an incredible artist and songwriter. Um, I put it out years ago, and I remember playing that song, and it's always one of those things where I don't expect people to know it. Most of my, the people who listen to my music came like after dress, so I don't expect people to know the songs from like, like 2020 Ryder, or something yeah. like that. And I remember playing that song, and there was um, a person in the, like at the barricade who just like automatically when the chord started, she just like let out this like literal like sound that was like she was shocked by the fact that this song was happening and she started bawling and I remember just like I went to the barricade and sang the whole song just like holding her hand and she was like hugging my body the entire time and I've never met this person my whole life and the fact that that song alone like she just connected to it so much that she like felt so emotional about it and I'll never forget about it I'll never forget it because it's like not somebody that I've seen at shows or somebody I've talked to online it was somebody that was stranger that for some reason had like a physical reaction to like music that I didn't think people even knew existed. About. Yeah. And so I remember that interaction a lot because it was just 
one of those moments where I was like, oh, this is like bigger than I thought and yeah. bigger and those are that I really realized the importance of like being honest and transparent about like my mental health and my experiences and not trying to like I I don't do the listeners like I don't I do them a disjustice if I am not able to like be honest and like I try to like have this pretty coat over things yeah. and I, it's just not I'm just I want to sing cute songs yeah. about whatever and, no. and you can completely make a career off of that but that's just not the career I want so I'm, I'm really grateful for all the people that connect to it and relate to it and that are here and experience the same things and it's just a, a really exciting yeah that's inspiring and just something to take away even for songwriters like yeah. put songs out that you might not think people care about because somebody out there will resonate 100% I always think about it in the sense of like even when you think that the song is nobody's gonna find this song or connect to it the thought of like one person that song coming up on a playlist and one person going through something and hearing it and driving I always imagine somebody just driving right. down like the highway and this song comes on the radio or comes on a random playlist and all of a sudden they're just like oh my god I'm not alone or I'm I, I, I'm not the only one who experiences this thing that is enough for me like if it gets one play if it gets one person who relates and connects obviously I'd love for it to be a hundred thousand people every night yeah, but, of course, I, yeah. but at the same time if it's just <laughs> one like that is my that is my reason for being here that is my whole entire purpose and I love and enjoy it so much so it's great yeah well that is why you're going to do so well in this industry I can't wait to see you just literally take so over well. Yeah. I'll see that it be in everyone's face until they get sick of me. That's my marketing. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girl, I'm there. Everyone watches. Like, you're halfway there, girl. You're what halfway you there. You're almost you're there. You're so close. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see that you partnered with the Jet yeah. Foundation. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about that? What they yeah, stand absolutely. for? Yeah. It's a foundation that supports um, a lot of teens and young adults suffering with um, mental health and also promotes kind of like information and resources for them to help if they're going through any struggles that have to do with like potential um, suicide or anything like that yeah. and um, they have so many resources and they are such incredible people and that have been really really helpful to even me and how to have conversations with people to be oh, wow. helpful in a sense. They even talked with you about it. Yeah and um, because I think the huge thing for me is I, I have so many conversations every day with like people online and I always want to make sure that I'm prepared like I'm not a professional, I'm not a therapist, I'm just yeah. somebody who like has really big emotions and talks yeah. about them way too much. Um, but like for so they kind of give me information and inform me on how to have conversations, how to give people the resources they need, how to get them the help that they might need. Be able to direct people to the right places instead of the conversation just ending or me being like, hey, good luck out there. It's like, hey, like good luck. It's why I, I mean I started the Discord channel so that people can have all these resources and relate to each other um, communities where they can discuss these things and not feel isolated, but um, yeah, Jet Foundation has been amazing. We have merch um, for All Right, my song All Right, that a lot of the proceeds go to them. Directly. That's limited edition, right? Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, and they, so they helped with designing that, and um, we put their slogan on the back, which is your people are out there, and it's just about, their whole foundation basically about the fact that you're not alone in how you feel and what you're going through, and making sure that people are able to find communities and find help and find That's amazing. Yeah, Not just really writing cool. the music about it, but just yeah. on both sides. Like, how do I even better myself to help yeah. people, you know, what I'm saying? So. No, I'm grateful that there are uh, foundations and people. I mean, there's so many people that work for those um, foundations and so many people that work for, I mean, countless things that are their job to go to work every day is 